Hi you guys, it's Megan with Cute Baby Chic Mom and I wanted to share with you today a garage sale haul that we got. Um, one of my neighbors had a garage sale and you know, you go but you don't really think you're going to find anything. But I got this whole big box of goodies today and I'm going to sit down with you and I'm going to go through the whole thing because I haven't really gone through the whole thing yet. But they had a sewing table out and I don't really need a sewing table um, and it wasn't like a it wasn't a singer sewing table from you know the the 30s or anything crazy cool like that it was a regular sewing table um, kind of looked 70s or 80s with veneer on it and it was a Kenmore machine that's a little bit smaller so I just was looking through the drawers to see how it was made and everything. And in the bottom drawer, there was this big box that you see in front of you. And it's full of little goodies. And I asked the gals if they'd be willing to just sell the box of um, notions. And they said, sure. So I got this whole big box for 10 bucks. And then I got something else that I'll show you after we go through this, but let's go through it together. I'm just going to move it aside so that I can bring things into view. Um, you could already see the Velcro. I just think that this is a good thing to have around because you can always use Velcro. A classic cute little pin cushion with the pins. And there were a couple things of needles too. And I think, oh my gosh, you guys, needles are always such a good thing to have. And look at, let me see if I can get this to focus really well so you can see all the sizes. There's a really good variety of sizes in here. There you go. It kind of focused for a second. <laughs> so those will be wonderful. These are embroidery needles that let me pull this one out so you can see this a little closer because I think this for an embroidery needle, I mean, I could fit hemp through that. It's so big. If you can see how big that eye is on that one. That's great. Very excited about these. Some embroidery hoops. What's this? About five or six inches, looks like. And then this one I think is around eight to ten across not quite a whole foot but decent sized embroidery hoops and sometimes these are even fun to um find a beautiful fabric or a beautiful painting or something to stretch out in so i think i'll make something really cool out of those maybe we'll do a video oh these are great these i was really excited about i'm gonna get these right out of the bag a whole bag of them so four of them, and they're those old school clips with the measurements on them, you guys. Some of this stuff they don't sell in the stores anymore, but I remember from when I was a little girl. I'm really excited about this box. Thread and thread and thread galore, so we'll go through those colors together. A marking kit with just the tape left and these two big huge bags of buttons you guys I don't know if you like buttons I love buttons growing up some of my favorite memories are me and my sister sitting and going through the buttons at grandma's house and mom's house because everybody had a button jar back in the day I'm going to open this up and look at some of them. A lot of them are just um, attached to the paper from garments, which I won't go through. But what I really wanted to do was get to some of the big loose ones in the bottom. These are all from garments, which I'll look at later because they're all still in packaging. So there will be just some, you know, basic ones in there. Usually something that you get off of a garment. Oh, except that one's really cool. My cat is next to me, so I'm sorry if he's making noise. And the washer machine is going, so I'm sorry if that's making noise. That's pretty. Oh, I like that one. 
Let's see what else we got here. We got quite a few loose ones that I wanted to look at a little closer. Yeah, like some of these gold buttons, they have a neat shape. Mr. Deeds, stop it, Dud. Stop. Sorry, he's making all kinds of noise, you guys. There we go. Pretty pearl. That one's cool. Do, 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 do. Ooh, this one's cool, too. Oh, I just love buttons. So those were some of the loose ones in that bag. And then I have a whole bag here. And, oh my, what do we have here? What's this little guy? Oh, look at how cute that is, you guys. A little red lacquer with a gem in the middle, a clear gem in the middle. And I like this. This has a pretty design on it. Cool. Yeah, really pretty buttons in here. Let me do one more handful. I'll just hold up for you guys to look at. Some fabric covered buttons, different metal buttons. That's always fun to have a metal button. So those are the fun buttons that we got in the bag or in the box from the garage sale. Let me scoot those over. And oh, this was cool too. These little, what do you call these little guys again? Grommets. Multicolored grommets in there. Nifty. And the thread. Oh, the thread in here, and even a little stand for thread, you guys. I'll show you that, too. These are the threads. Um, these are less expensive. You can buy these at the dollar store a lot, but still, um, having said that, how many are there? I mean, oh, I told her to keep her bobbins. Maybe I'll take that back to her because... I have a singer and she had a Kenmore. And geez, who couldn't use more bobbins, right? Lots and lots of beautiful colors of thread. Ooh, I always like having a nice brown. That's a pretty brown. I'm very happy to have this dark green because I have a project that I can really use this on. That's a pretty shade of green. <laughs> Back when thread was 50 cents. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's pretty red. What other pretty colors are there? So many. Pink. Blue. A lighter pink. These would be cute for some of the things that I make for the baby. Oh, and hook and eyes. Woohoo! Hook and eyes. Two boxes. So I'll pull the stand out of the different threads now because even though it's plastic, I still think it's nice and it will fit on my shelf in my studio and I can change things out from time to time. These are some nice grays up here. Um, this is a really pretty green. Oh, I really like that one. Beautiful green. A really pretty yellow here. Lots of beautiful, beautiful threads. You guys, look at this purple. Oh my goodness. I could go on and on and on, but I won't bore you. This is cool too because we actually have two tents because we have an easy up pop up um, that my husband takes to his outdoor shows um, when he's in concert. He's in a band. I think I've told you guys that. Concrete Angels. Anyway, um, this will be cool 
for repairs. You can repair tents and things with that. I got, ooh, a nice measuring tape. I already have a couple, but I don't know about you ladies and gentlemen who like to sew and like to do projects. You can have a measuring tape in your sewing kit. You can have a measuring tape with your paper crafts. You can have a measuring tape with your paint. Like you pretty much need it for every project. And I think one of my measuring tapes has paint on it. So it'll be nice to have that. And a thimble. When was the last time you guys had a little metal thimble? Oh, I'm excited about that too. So the, that's the whole box of goodies galore uh, that these very nice gals let go for only $10. And I'm telling you, I couldn't buy all of this thread and all of these buttons and that little stand all for just $10. Um, so I feel like that was a really decent garage sale haul with crafty stuff in it, even better. So the one big thing I wanted to show you guys, which is not really that big, but I don't know how it's gonna, how well it's gonna fit into the frame, we'll see. I have been looking, oh my goodness, it's huge. I'm gonna back the camera up because it's gonna be big and then I'll put it back down. I have been looking for a lantern, something unique, that I could have out around holidays to decorate differently and just to have a really pretty cool lantern. And I look in antique shops every time I go. I look in thrift stores every time I go because, I don't know, I felt like if I just got one from Joann's or Michael's that was like cheating or something. And then I found this at the garage sale for only six bucks and I thought, hey, that's unique. It's thrifty. So I didn't break any of my rules. <laughs> and it's something I've been looking for. I'm going to take this tape off here. Whoops, I'm sorry if I bonked the camera just then. I'm going to take this tape off and see how this door is. Because they said the door worked, but oops, when I'm taking the tape off, these little guys come off. So I'm thinking I might have to repair the door a little bit, which is fine. I'm not afraid to do that, but it'll still be fun to decorate. Like I was thinking, you know, some evergreen or something um, in the wintertime. And then this huge candle was already in there. Look at this candle. This thing's huge. Does it smell good? No, it just smells like candle, but that still kind of smells good. But yeah, that's really cool that that came in there too. So I, you know, it's got a little space around it, around where the candle goes. And I think that that would be nice to like put evergreen and stuff in. And over the years, who knows, maybe I'll alter it a little bit from time to time. So I'll fix the door, but I think it's really nifty. And it was only six bucks. So that's it, you guys. That's my garage sale haul. And it was, you know, really impromptu. The sign went up last night sometime, and I saw it this morning when I went on my first walk. And then the baby wanted to go out. So I took her on another walk, and we went to the garage sale. And I'm super excited. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for going through my haul with me, because that was the first time that I went through the whole thing and really got to take a close look. And please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and stop by for more videos. But while you're here, go ahead and look at some videos that we've already posted. Um, have a great, today's Friday, have a great Friday and a happy weekend and we'll see you again soon. Bye.